A whole range of different uh, news channels here in the United States over the last couple of hours have been reporting that they have spoken to uh, U.S. military sources. Those sources telling them that Israel has carried out an attack and have struck uh, a site within Iran. Uh, various other bits of information that has been reported. Uh, the U.S. military saying that this strike was, in their words, limited. They also say that the U.S. was given notification ahead of this strike by Israel, uh, but saying that the US did not endorse the attack, also making it clear from US officials that the US was not involved in any of this action, that this was Israel acting alone. So US officials confirming to various networks here in the United States that this is indeed an attack and it is one that has been carried out from Israel. Now bear in mind that those reports have not been officially confirmed by any US officials and as we heard from uh, that last reporter just a few moments ago, uh, Israel has also not confirmed this information. But so far these unnamed military officials here in the United States speaking to news networks here are all pointing to this being a, a direct hit on Iran being carried out by Israel. Right, you said uh, that uh, those strikes are reportedly very limited, but are we hearing reports about any damages? Well, it does seem as if the main strikes seem to be uh, located around Isfahan in the northwestern part of the city. It's about a four hour drive uh, from the capital. Tehran. There are conflicting reports. I have to admit that uh, I've been looking at various different uh, state news channel reports coming out of Iran and there does seem to be a variety of different reporting. <clears throat> one uh, news association, Press TV, one of the Iran uh, state television networks there, uh, is saying that Isfahan has not been attacked, refuting that there has been any sort of attack on the city itself. And yet another Iranian channel uh, has been saying that three, three drones were shot down over the city. Other reports from Iranian state media saying that the nuclear facilities that are located in the city uh, are secure and they remain unharmed. So still conflicting reports coming from the Iranians themselves about whether this strike has even taken place. But if the strike has taken place, suggesting that there has been very limited damage so far. Right, and the Iranian state-run... Uh IRNA news agency reports that Iran fired air defense batteries uh, early this morning. Uh, would you know about that? That's right. Initially, when these reports came out that there were explosions in and around the city, of course, uh, it was tried to uh, we were trying to locate exactly where those explosions were coming from. But that reporting coming from uh, Iranian state television suggesting that the uh, battery systems, the air defense systems that Iran has set up uh, were firing uh, at objects in the air. It's not clear if they were able to shoot them down. Uh, as I mentioned, another report suggested that three drones had been downed over the city. But uh, it, it, it does seem clear, at least from that one report, and like I say, there are other conflicting reports, that those air defense systems were in action and that they certainly were shooting at something, some projectile that was in the sky earlier on. And Iran's a fast news agency said an explosion was heard at an airport in the city of Isfahan, but the cause was not immediately known. Uh, as you said, Isfahan is a very strate strategic place. It's home to major air base for the Iranian military, as well as uh, sites associated with this nuclear program. Uh, do you have any updates on that? Not much more information on that one. As you mentioned, it is a strategically important center. If Israel was looking for a potential target, then Isfahan would certainly be on its list because of that nuclear facility, because of the military base, because helicopters are located there. It is a strategically important city. What is unclear is exactly whether or not it has been the target of Israel, whether this is the location and whether what we've seen unfolding has been part of an Israeli airstrike. Of course, bear in mind that from a US perspective, uh, the president here, Joe Biden, other Western allies, have spent really the past week urging Prime Minister Netanyahu to engage in diplomacy 
as opposed to mi military retaliation. And just in the last 24 hours, we've seen the US come out uh, with a raft of sanctions against Iran. The hope, of course, was from Washington's perspective that by putting those sanctions in place, it might help to persuade the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to desist in a potential attack. Of course, if what we're seeing here it does turn out to be an airstrike and an airstrike that has been carried out by the Israelis, it shows that President Biden failed in his campaign to try and convince and contain the Israeli Prime Minister. Right. And Iran is reported to have suspended flights uh, over several cities. What other details are impacting Iranian civilians? That's right. Again, conflicting reports on this one because one set of reports suggests that flights have been cancelled at Tehran's airport. Of that, of course, that's several hours away from Isfahan, uh, and also that airspace has been closed. But then there are other reports online from Iranian reporters in the city of Isfahan, out on the streets, on the top of tall buildings, showing that all is well, all is calm within the city. Of course, it's uh, impossible at this stage to verify whether those pictures pictures which purport to be from this morning uh, were actually taken this morning or perhaps were taken at another point. So it's unclear uh, exactly what the current situation is, especially when it comes to airspace, but also how it is potentially impacting civilians on the ground in the wider parts of the country, but also in Isfahan as well, where so much of this activity seems to be uh, located. Right. And what's this uh, new round of strikes by Israel to Iran? completely a shock to the US media. Were there any signs, warnings before the attack? Well, the U.S. media are now reporting that the U.S. military was given advance notification of this. Uh, the U.S. military is saying, though, that they did not endorse these strikes. Uh, and we have, of course, been hearing from the Israeli war cabinet throughout the course of this week. They've met several times that they had chosen their method of retaliation. They had a planned target in mind and they had a planned date and time when they would be carrying out the attack. Now, now, at least US uh, military didn't say that they were told of the time and the place of the attack, but rather they knew that the Israelis were set on uh, retaliating and continuing this cycle of uh, attack and counterattack, even though Washington was urging restraint, was urging cool heads and was urging them to de-escalate the situation. So it does seem as if there was at least a direct initial uh, warning, pre-warning ahead of this attack, but there were rumblings in the background throughout the course of this week. And despite that high level engagement, including a phone call between President Joe Biden and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, there just hasn't been that ability from the United States or other allies in the West or in the region to try and get Israel to scale down its plans and decide that they were instead going to choose diplomacy and a route of sanctions as opposed to reality, re retaliating for that unprecedented attack that we saw on Israel just last weekend with more than 300 missiles and drones being sent from Iran.